Hey everybody, Camille here with TeamUSSailor.com. I just want to do a quick little app review of some of my favorite apps from the Android market. I tried to choose from a bunch of different categories to give you guys a little bit of variety and choices in different apps. So let's get started. The first one you guys are actually looking at right now is called ADW Launcher EX, which is $3.32 in the market. There's also a free version that gives you a few less UI tweaks and a few less uh, performance tweaks. So definitely check out the free version before you actually buy it. Uh, basically what it is, is it just replaces your uh, home launcher. So you can personalize it a little bit more, you could theme it, you could add more rows, you could add more columns going across for icons. Uh, you could change the, the dock right down here. And of course you could change how the app drawer looks with colors and the way that it actually works. Uh, the most important part to me is the performance because it's a, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot smoother than most uh, launchers out there. And that's impressive to me. So the second app I want to show you guys is called Seismic. It's free in the Android market. It's basically a Twitter client. I don't have much to say about it. It's very clean. It's, uh, it's smooth. It's, it's better than the official Twitter uh, application that they have in the market. I feel like it has a few more features as well. And the notifications work a lot better as well. So that's about it for that one. Uh, the next one is Sportacular. Basically what this is, is it's just your typical sports app. It'll give you all of your scores for pretty much every professional sport in the U.S. And also has a few uh, European, uh, European uh, soccer leagues here, I believe, as well. And uh, tennis and golf as well. So basically you get, you know, you get, your, uh, t you get your favorite team on top here. And you could also go into it and you know look at the stats, look at the plays, and uh, if the game's actually live, uh, you could look at the play-by-play -play and read you know what's going on. And it's updated pretty fast. It's uh, it's run by Yahoo, so it's it's definitely one of the best sports apps that I've encountered so far. The next app I want to show you guys is called Pick Please, and basically what this is is it's a uh, Android's version of Instagram and. Uh, from iOS. It was supposed Instagram was supposed to come to Android I think within the last few months, but I guess it just never came around. So this is the best app that I could find that uh, replicates basically the same, you know, user experience and stuff that Instagram gives you. So you basically can take a picture, uh, put a filter on top of it, which is probably the main point, and then you could share it with a network and people could like it, could comment on it, uh, favorite your photos, everything like that. And uh, it's a little bit slow on a on a mobile network because the pictures are pretty large and they are pretty you know there's there's a good amount of data going on there so with the 3g network it's going to slow your you know the pictures might not come up that fast but if you're on wi-fi it is pretty quick uh so that's that the next app i want to show you guys is called pulse news now this is just a news feed um i like it a lot because the way the ui is, is just beautiful um you can go through uh certain websites just go across and look through all the articles it'll give you a picture if uh if the actual article has a picture. So let's say we go to tech here, we go to Team US Cellular. And if you want to click on an article, you just click on it and it'll give you the text uh, layout of the actual article, but it will not give you all the flash, it will not give you all the pictures, which is brilliant <laughs> because if you're on a mobile network, most of the time you're not going to want to see all those ads or anything. You just want to read the actual article. So you can scroll down and actually go to the original article right here. So if you do want to see all that, you could actually do that. And you could scroll through the rest of the articles down here after that. You can also sync, so you can um, see these uh, these articles from different you know different devices like tablets or other Android phones if you have any more. That is also free in the Android market. The next one I want to show you guys is not free in the market. It's called Xbox Live Statistics. So if you play Xbox, I think you should get this app. There, it, there's a free version as well, which I think has pretty much all the same features as the paid version. So if you're looking you know to get a, a good Xbox Live. Uh, application definitely look at Xbox Live statistics. It shows you where what your friends are doing, who's online. Of course, it's authenticating down here, but I'm in a basement, so it's kind of far away uh, from my Wi-Fi network. It shows you how many friends you have online. It'll show you what they're doing. It'll show you what the last game they played was. Basically, just uh, your dashboard on your actual Xbox comes to comes to your phone, and that's uh, that's probably the I think it's the only Xbox Live app that I've really noticed that works pretty well. And uh, the developer updates this app pretty much at least once a month or two times a month, which is really impressive. And he incorporates, you know, every device that he could possibly get into it. Uh, the next one uh, and the last one I want to show you guys is just a screen capture uh, application. It's called uh, Screen Grabber, actually, and it's free in the Android market. I know that HTC uh, phones, uh, the recent ones, have uh, screen captures 
uh, actually in the phone so you can actually do it without any uh, third party applications but basically what you do is you just enable screen grab service and you can go back to your home screen you're going to get this little uh, icon right here in your notification bar bring it down and what you're going to do is you're just going to press this and it's going to wait about three seconds or so going to take it and then it's going to give you an option to open up your gallery and actually check out your screenshot and there's my screenshot so you can just go through all your screenshots here they're all put in the same folder and that's that I think it's the I mean I've tried out a few screen uh, grabbers and a, a few screen capture applications but most of them you have to be rooted to do it this one you don't have to be rooted to do it so you can do it with any phone without any problems you don't have to worry about it I'm not sure if it supports every device I'm, I'm sure they have a list that'll tell you what uh, what device it actually supports so you want to check that out before installing so those are most of the apps I want to show you guys just today really quick uh, I know you guys some of you guys might be wondering what these widgets are that I'm using here uh, what they're called and stuff. I'll probably put up another video soon uh, showing you guys what the widgets are, some of my favorite widgets and stuff like that, and probably a few more apps that uh, probably aren't as common that you guys probably haven't seen before. So uh, that's that. Uh, go to teamuscellular.com and check out uh, any other extra news with US Cellular phones and rumors and forums for any help that you guys need. Uh, follow me on Twitter at ShyCityKG. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, everything. Uh, Tell us what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, you can message. So that's about all. I'll catch you guys next time.